Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying the weekend. Today, I'm going to be doing a video about 12 other productivity YouTubers that you should follow. I wanted to recommend a few that are talking around a range of different topics. I wanted to show them their profile and then uh, give you the opportunity to follow them in the link in the description. This is sort of a celebratory video of hitting 200,000 subscribers here on the channel. So big thank you to all those who have supported the channel over the years. We will be doing a bit more of a bigger celebration when we hit 250, which hopefully will be this year, and hopefully we can do a nice giveaway. So if you are new here, guys, please do make sure to hit subscribe. So first person to follow for this video is Linking Your Thinking. Now, as you can see here, this is a channel that is very well put together. It's run by the likes of Nick Milo, who is not just someone who focuses on Obsidian, and it's really interesting as channel. He touches on so many topics, and the videos are really well put together. He does some great sort of deep dives with people who are using Obsidian. He explores things like what are notes, and even asking folks, uh, doing mini sort of documentaries about the age of linked notes. It's really interesting, hideously unsubscribed channel, so do make sure to check him out below. So next up is my good friend, Justin DeRose. Again, very unsubscribed channel, but Justin covers a range of different topics from the likes of Obsidian to Rome to many more applications, including RemNote and different conceptual stuff around productivity. Now he has, I've known Justin for a fair while now, we actually run a course together, but I really like his videos and the conversations that he talks, even like the topics he jumps into, like for example, mind maps, you know, like here, he's setting up his own note taking setups and comparison videos as well. So I do recommend checking out Effective Remote Work. He's fairly new to YouTube, but doing very well. I recommend do subscribing to him. So next up is Shu Omi, who has actually come on our channel before to dive into Rome and how he sets it up, but he is also, well, we've got to have it back on, but, Re, but Shu actually dives into everything from um, effective focusing methodologies to his YouTube setup and how he's doing that. But most importantly, he dives into Rome research and how to really take advantage of it as beginner, intermediate, and advanced user. It's very interesting to see his journey as he started out. Very much reminds me of how I started out, but much more organized and much more clean cut with his video production. <laughs> but I think you'll enjoy his videos, especially because they range from, you know, productivity techniques to actual tools themselves. So next up is is Christopher Lawley. Now, this is probably the most subscribed channel in the lineup. However, I think that I get really annoyed when I see certain channels like this because, like for example, with Chris, he definitely should be on more subscribers than I am because he puts out so much better content than I do. And it's a really good sort of channel if you have an iPad and you're looking to get your productivity setups and systems in place. Chris explains not just his own setup and dives into different iPad accessories and tools and software. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out his channel if you have an iPad. Again, I wish he had more than I did, so please do unsubscribe from Keep Productive and jump over to his. <laughs> so um, the next up is The Notion Bar. This is a channel run by Frances. She has a fantastic set of templates that allow you to really take your Notion a lot further. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but it really is interesting to see how she journals with Notion, sets her goals and things like that. She's only done two YouTube videos so far but hopefully when we you know people go and follow her it's an opportunity for her to just make some more and really dive into um, the topics of templates notion uh, and i really love the sort of merchandise and things she's launching around notion like in notion we adult it's quite a cool concept and um, something that i definitely recommend you go follow so next up is another Notion Notioneer, Notion uh, fella, who is just uh, diving into the world of Notion. I really love her uh, Build With Me's. All the sort of videos she does about Notion are really deep, but she also touches on RemNote and some of the other applications around that, like Rome. And it's really interesting to see how she uses the application herself. So her channel is called Red Gregory, and you can check it out if you're someone that is super looking to master Notion and go a lot further. She does some great templates, some great formulas, and there's so much to watch. Um, she's doing like two videos a week now, something like that. It's growing very fast. So again, hideously undersubscribed channel, go follow. So next up is Hashiba, and this is a channel that I have liked for quite a while. I think I've 
first discovered her video that dived into, it, it was about encryption of Notion. And then I really got carried away with all of her other videos. <laughs> it's really interesting to see the way she sort of tells a sort of mini documentary slash story in every single video. But she covers first impressions, setup tools, you know, even diving into the sides of, you know, the actual tools themselves, like MacBooks, reviews. But I really like how she covers productivity tools. I'm really impressed at how well she puts together a story in each video. So definitely go check out her channel. Next up is Paperless X. Now this is someone I've been collaborating before, Ropsy. She does a fantastic channel that dives into the iPad um, sort of handwritten experience. And why I like this channel is because it goes into so much detail about handwriting applications on iPad, which is something I don't do, and that's why we get her on so often to dive exactly into that. I think it's really interesting the applications she covers, but she also goes really deep with Notability, GoodNotes, and also Flexil. So definitely highly recommend this one. So next up is a channel called The PhD Diaries, Lucy Kizik. I, I really like this channel. Um, I've been following her for a fair while now, and I really like how she puts together videos for students and those who are looking you know, in their sort of studying or research categories. And she talks about her experience, you know, all range of experiences over the years about like confidence and how to do conferencing and lessons about her own productivity. I really like this channel, especially because most recently she'd been diving into how um, lockdown and the pandemic has affected students and how she's learning from it. So I recommend this channel. I've been following for a while and I think you'll love it. So next up is Collaboration Coach. I've done a couple of collaborations with uh, Matt over there and and uh, it's exciting because he dives into everything that is Microsoft 365. So if you're someone that's looking to really improve their Microsoft 365 knowledge, this is a great experience for that if uh, you're looking to go onto YouTube. And he comes on pretty regular to do overviews over on Keep Productive. So thanks, Matt, and everyone should go follow him. So the final two we're on to now, Brian Jenks, um, fantastic channel if you're looking to learn Obsidian, but also go much deeper on Obsidian because it's really advanced stuff and it's so good. Um, he talks not just about productivity and tools like that, programming and research. And I think this channel is hideously underrated as well if you're looking to go deep on that topic. Finally, it is Curtis McHale who dives not just into Obsidian, who comes on the channel pretty regularly to dive into that. He also dives into his book reviews and his iPad experiences, as well as his own productivity systems and workflows. Again, small amount of subscribers for what he should really be on because he does some great overviews and I highly recommend checking him out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is obviously something that, you know, I think is really important in getting newer folk out there. I remember when I was a small channel and it, I still feel like I have a small channel. But it's definitely really, really important to get their sort of perspective on stuff. The link will be in the description to all of these guys um, and I hope you do enjoy watching the content that they produce. So thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you so much for subscribing and for us to reaching 200,000 and I'll talk to you all very soon. Make sure you subscribe if you're new so we can do a big giveaway at 250. Anyway guys, cheerio.